Now this is an inter terrace at District 26 in between Upper Salita Reservoir and Lower Salita Reservoir. Four bedrooms and three bathrooms. You have this very high ceiling. You really can enjoy, I think a lot of fresh air right here. Welcome back to our Property Lim Brothers Landed Home Tour series. Now this is going to be one of the rare commodity in the next five years. We're going to show you this is the terrace that I think you should definitely lay your hands on. So how many landed properties are there in Singapore? A total of 73,150 landed properties for quarter to quarter in the year 2019. Every quarter, there's about 380 odd transactions. But however, the moment we move towards 2020, especially after the circuit breaker season, the amount of transactions increased towards 685 to 800 odd transactions per quarter. Now, if you are looking for a landed property and an entry-level landed, which is what we call the inter-terraces market, you can can get something within the three million dollars mark. However, if you do a quick search on some of the most popular property portals in Singapore, you'll notice that in order to get something at three million dollars, it's getting increasingly difficult. I think one of the key reasons is also because the existing lender owners they all know that the government is not giving out triple nine years leasehold land or freehold land any longer for landed developers that wants to develop landed properties in Singapore, which is why you can see the uprise in terms of 99 years landed properties right now in the past five years. Let me show you why this piece of land is very nicely segregated. This is sitting on the land of 1,847 square feet. The existing build out is 2,614 square feet. This is currently a 23 year old house. Our owners bought this in the year 1997. It is a solid structure developed by Kalang Development. Now, Springside is a very interesting zoning. The entire Springside and Spring Leaf were located in between Upper Salita Reservoir and Lower Salita Reservoir. In fact, we're located pretty close to the center portion of Singapore, which is linked towards Marichi Reservoir. So you really can enjoy, I think a lot of fresh air right here because the breeze coming from left and right side is very fresh and just right towards that corner, I think you can already see the greenery that's linking towards the lower Salita portion. So let's come back in. I'm going to give you an orientation of spring leaf and spring sides. If you were to drive towards this portion coming from Upper Thompson, you will reach towards the Spring Leaf and Springside zoning. So Spring Leaf is going to have an upcoming MRT station on Thompson East Coast Line. This is going to be the first few stations that will be open in Q3 of 2021. Very exciting MRT station because Thompson East Coast Line is one of the most highly anticipated line that will cut through from the north side all the way towards Orchard. So Spring Leaf, and there is a cluster of a landed property that is located behind Heaton Park. If you move northwards a little bit, then that will bring you to a Springside Landed Enclave. And we are located right here at Springside Drive. And the moment you drive in, you'll notice that on the left and right hand side, these are two new developments by Far East. Brooks 1 and 2, these are mixed landed developments with shops right below. There's also a My Champs preschool there as well. So coming back to Springside, six different lanes, Green, Drive, Link, Walk, View, and you're armed with a uh, new at the bottom as well. So why do we want to mention the six different lanes is because when Kalang Development developed this first batch of landed properties compared to the newer batch of landed properties in the past five to ten years, the road line outside seems pretty wide. I think that's a very good benefit because not only do you have dotted line right in the middle, there are no lines on the left and right hand side and when you look for a landed property, that means that you can park additional cars on the left and right side of the road line. Having a wider road allows cars to still continue to travel without any obstruction to the landed property zoning. So a lot of times when people buy landed properties, they are a little bit concerned about, hey, what is the road line outside? And I'm allowed to park more cars if I have two cars. And especially when you buy an inter-terrace, most of the time it's one car in your car porch. In combination with your side garden, you have a total width of 6.6 .6 meters. The depth of this land is 26 meters. We also like the fact that uh, there are no split living and dining. This is very elderly friendly. If your parents are living together with you, this is the room that they can live in without having to climb the staircase upstairs. So in total, there are four bedrooms and three bathrooms here. But what we think is very potential is that you have this very high ceiling right here. So the current build is only 2,613. This is going to be an additional bonus for you if you were to do up a little bit of A&A. &A. If you don't really need that high ceiling, get an architect 
architect, do up some drawings together for PE, apply to BCA, do up this part. This will potentially be another two bedrooms for you to make this into a total of six bedrooms and three baths. Alternatively, you can make this into a huge bedroom, so to make it a total of five bedrooms. After this is done, apply for extension to open up these two walls to walk outwards towards the balcony above the car porch. Right now, the latest application is that you don't have to seek approval to walk out towards your car porch balcony as long as you have PE that underwrites the safety and weight bearing requirements of the car porch. But most importantly, work with a certified architect and PE so that you can get all this done very smoothly. So the asking price for this property is $3.38 million. Later, we'll go in depth into pricing analysis. But meantime, let me complete the level one for you. Kitchen zoning, just about right. This is the default layout. So a couple of years back, when their kids got married, they actually did a bit of renovation. So what you're seeing here is a new kitchen cabinetry system with a nice Japanese quartz top. We like the width of this kitchen. I think a lot more modifications can be done if you pump in probably about 200, 300,000 for renovation. The walls right here can be brought down. You can make it into like a more open kitchen kind of concept or put in a glass kind of sliding doors. This portion here is totally reserved for the washing bay with your kitchen dual sink and then this part right now is meant for cooking with left and right tabletop space Backyard zoning, we're not even in the backyard garden yet. So this is like your utility zone for your laundry, washer, come dryer. You have a bathroom with shower right here. And over here, there's a utility room. So if you have a live-in helper at home, this will be a fantastic room because there's a nice ventilation window there. If not, this will then be your utility room. So if you come to the backyard, of course, you can do up awnings. You can do up wooden structures at the back so that you can have a little bit more shade over here. So we leave that up to you. So how do you utilize the backyard? Now, the backyard is best for clothes drying. It's also good if you can do up probably like a wooden glass shelter. You can use this place uh, for another outdoor dining area. So some owners will tend to want to knock down walls that's linking towards the backyard zoning. So you want to have a more flow effect that can be done. There are potential to do up when you buy a landed property because the structure belongs to you, the land belongs to you. Okay, so we're back to the dining area. So as you can see, the dining zone is a very nice size area. Living room size is fantastic. The moment you walk in, nothing is compromised. So you can either choose on which angle do you want to put in your TV console. You can use this wall to be a nice TV console wall. If you can flip over, you can put in your sofa right in the middle and use this wall as your whole TV console wall as well. So it's very flexible. Most importantly, I think there's enough wall space for you to design how you want to build up your cabinetry system or your storage area. In terms of storage, on top of the utility room at the back, you have a very good size under staircase storage right at this corner. I uh, would like the fact also that the staircase is tucked right towards this direction. So before we head up to level 2, let's talk a little bit about how do you look at pricing when buying a landed property. Okay, so landed properties, there are two types. One is what we call a pure landed property like this one, freehold status. The other type is what we call a strata landed. So we sell both properties. If you have seen our latest property that we have launched at Teresa 8, it was sold very quickly as well because there was a district 4 a freehold strata terrace. However, the calculation is a little bit different. When you buy a pure landed property, we usually take the total quantum price divided by the land size. So for example, this inter terrace that's freehold right here is asking at 3.38 million divide by 1,847 square feet. That will bring us to a land PSF at about 1,008 plus per square foot, which is the current ongoing price right here for Springside and Spring Lift. Now, if you look at strata landed properties, let's just compare another freehold strata landed. Usually what happens is there is no land PSF involved because when you buy a strata landed, you're going by the build up area. So we take the total price divided by the total build up area, which then bring us to the per square foot for the build up. Now, you can also do that in a similar fashion for a pure lender because as mentioned you're buying two products at one go you own the land so you calculate that by per square foot if you want to divide by your build up area and that's going to be very interesting because right now the build up is 2613 if you take the total price divide by that that will then bring us to a per square foot of about 1200 plus per square foot and then if you compare this in terms of a freehold lender property with apartment that will give you a good gauge about what is your preference level because looking at the weight 
way apartment prices are going, if you do not need facilities for your family, you prefer to own a piece of freehold land, then this might be suitable for your family because if you're going for space, lower per square foot in terms of build up area, pure landed properties are definitely one of the very prime properties that you can keep for longevity. Let's come back to this part and continuation from what we've just discussed. The moment you build up this zone, you technically also increase your build up area and thereby that brings down your build up per square foot. This is very flexible because you can always add on, you can always build up and we are in a three and a half storey landed zoning. So there are also differences in terms of landed housing zoning. That can be seen from the URA space portal. On paper, you will see that it's three storey. That means you can go up to three and a half. By default, all the properties right here when they bought from the developers they are already built towards three story there's no attic in future if you want to tear down and rebuild you can go as high as three and a half plus basement giving you a total of five stories pump in the lift i think you can definitely go up to probably about 4,500 square feet in total so let's head up Seth. So this lane at Springside Drive, in my opinion, is a very convenient lane, especially if you have young children or you prefer that your kids come back from school themselves because they can just alight at the bus stop outside. So Springside is also nicely designed. There's a new batch called the Brooks at Springside. They're all done in a larger land plot size. So most of the sizes right there starts from the 2,000 square feet to maybe even up to 2,400 square feet. So overall quantum is slightly larger. The properties right there are also newer. So of course, if you prefer new larger quantum properties. Most of the inter terraces here are inching towards the 4 mil mark. If you've seen a lot of our landed series, the default land size right now that's very popular in terms of its new built landed inter terraces, they are all ranging at about 1,600 plus square feet for land plot. So 1,008, I will consider it a bonus. So we are at level 2. Nice family area. The structures in terms of its wooden rails are still very well maintained and preserved. Now, this is the existing master room. The original design is at the master room on level two. I think that's very thoughtful. So basically level three is for your kids. There are two bedrooms upstairs uh, sharing a common bath. Master room right here on level two, very convenient for your owners. You can walk up to take care of your kids. You can walk downstairs, take care of your parents. So you're right in the middle of the home. You have the entire level two by yourself with your own family area right Right there. Of course, a lot of people, how they utilize family areas is that after dinner, they will come up to level two, play some board games, watch television, or you can come here and read books together. So I think a lot of different space for a family to enjoy. And that's the beauty of living in a landed home. Now, the moment you come upstairs, stairwell together with the landing right here, these are all done with nice parquet wood flooring. Of course, when you buy a landed home, the moment you see solid parquet wood, you know that you can re-varnish them. However, take note that varnishing only goes up to perhaps about three rounds before the grooving starts dislodging. Alternatively, what's most popular is also to overlay with vinyl because vinyl, usually they have a 10 years warranty, very long lasting, scratch proof, good if you have dogs and cats at home as well. Now, let's have a look at this ensuite. We just love the fact that how in the past, a lot of materials are done in a very solid fashion. Standing shower at the corner with four huge ventilation windows. So the mushroom faces towards the back and the collection right here, they usually have this classical shape that has this curvature with a little bit of diamond angles right here. So it's very nicely done when you look from outside. Room size is fantastic. You have by default your walk-in wardrobe area, which you can rent away and modify. When you come for viewing, our listing specialist will show you some of the quotations that our building architect has devised. Of course, that is based on our architects and builders opinion. You should definitely bring your own architect for a second opinion. You can actually use our quotes to compare with the rest as well. So I think definitely if you were to pump about 200,000 to renovate the interior, you get an almost brand new home. So why do I say that the overall quantum entry price is very important? Now the key reason is because right here in year 2021, to get something that's below $3 million is almost impossible. Either those are landed that are very, very old in nature that will require to tear down. If not, you want to go for something that's definitely moving condition, you have to look at something that's closer to the range of about $3.5 million. You also have to take into consideration whether the land size is too huge or is it too small. This land at 1,800 plus square feet, $3.38 million in terms of quantum entry price is hitting a very nice sweet spot. This has potential to hit a range that is crossing over the 4 over million mark in the next 5 to 10 years, depending on how the overall economy is doing. So if you want to get a really nice size landed, I think this is the best time to get into the market. 
This would then give you a nice glance of the houses opposite you because they are all quite uniform in terms of design. You also get a good feel of uh, the road width. And I think importantly is that your gate size is fantastic. Our owners have maintained the gardens and the fencing together with the neighbors over the years. So room size is also great. Check out this common room. It's so big. Queen bed, side tables, wardrobes here. You still have this. I mean, this is equivalent to two bedroom sizes here if you go for some of the new launch apartments today. So you're getting two rooms combined into one for your kids. And then if you head over this direction, in between the two common rooms, this is your common bathroom. And then this is a slightly smaller room than the one at the front. You have this very bonus area. So you can get a nice breather here. <laughs> So, very nice area here, small little like balcony right at the corner of this room. Uh, currently, this is used as a study bedroom and you can definitely convert this to put it in a queen bed right at the corner. Wardrobe is already done, bookshelves over that direction. So, lots of potential. Most importantly, it's already four bedrooms, three baths and a helper's room right on level one. Potential go up to six bedrooms, three baths with a helper room intact. You also have another storage on level three. So, I think if you don't really need a storage space, you can remove this portion, do a bit of modification, doing a pantry here put in a water dispenser so at night your kids can just take some drinks from here now last but not least you don't have to do anything to this house uh, if four bedrooms is sufficient for your family's current needs now probably all you need to do is perhaps pump in another about hundred thousand dollars just to do up some very essential things for example like revamping the bathrooms maybe even renovating your kitchen if you want a little bit newer carpentry but although i think the carpentry is in great shape or maybe just a new coat of paint and some carpentry works here and then the tv console area or maybe the study room area or maybe for the wardrobe space right inside all the bedrooms so end of the day i think uh get into the freehold inter-terrace landed market. Most people, although they are waiting for the new Thompson East Coast line to be ready, but a lot of owners here, they drive. So definitely, if you have your own car, residents are also waiting for the North-South Highway to be completed. Uh, if you want to have a look at this place, give a call to our listing manager. The links are always right down below. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, do click on the subscribe button and click on the bell. My name is Melvin Lim, Property Lim Brothers. Always happy to show the place. Take care. Oh my god, my feet. Okay, go swap. Thanks. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs>